Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. And I've got Mr. Wesley with me. Say hi. Say hi. So Wesley is visiting with Grandma and Nana because today is his mama's birthday. Say happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, so happy birthday, Shaylin. And uh, yeah, so we thought since Wesley was here, we'd have him say hello. He just looks like a deer in the headlights right now. <laughs> you're not being very talkative at the no, moment. No, you're not being very talkative. He just sees the bright light. Yeah, it's a bright light. Uh, come on. Wesley just turned three months old yesterday. So it's Saturday night. It's Monday night. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's Monday night. Oh, my gosh. You worked today. I worked today. Yeah. Okay. So, it's Monday night. Um, Christmas is on Friday. Yes. Friday's Christmas. Santa's coming on Friday, Thursday night. So, anyways, we haven't been around for a while, and we thought we should uh, bring you a Dollar Tree haul. So, we've got... Plenty of stuff to show you, um, and I don't know if Wesley's going to stay and help me out here or not. You want me to come take him? Um, yeah, maybe. Can Nana come and get you? Okay, say goodbye. Say bye. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get into this. I've got a lot. Um, Grandma? So let's get started. All right. We stopped at a few stores and actually this is from a couple of couple of trips. I've got some books. This book, it just, I don't know, it caught my eye for some reason. A Sky Full of Kindness by Rob Ryan. Um... A Bedtime Story for Every Age, A Sky Full of Kindness is a book full of poetry, wisdom, fear, and hope. A book of cutouts, cut out for anyone who is human. It will make your heart smile. So, just, it was different, and it caught my eye. So, I thought, why not? Uh, let's see if I can... So, yeah. Is you talking to everybody now? So Wesley's going to talk to you guys. We've got some more. This book is Questions and Answers Space. Explore the Universe. And then here's the back. Looks like it's part of a series. Yeah. Other titles. Ancient History, Animal World, Planet Earth, Science, and World History. This book was cool. This is, it retails for $40. It's Saturn. So, um, sorry guys. Look at this. How cool is this? We just thought, did you think that was neat, Wesley? It was just a neat coffee table type book. Um, so yeah, we thought that was pretty cool. And then this one, it's Life Unseen, so by Life Magazine, an illustrated biography with rare and never before seen photographs from the archives of Sony Music Entertainment. This is about Tony Bennett. And there's the back. Guys, this is a heavy book. And it retails for $29.95. So it's got a picture in the front and the back. And then just really neat. And then there's one other book that we got that was a gift. It's wrapped already. Um, I'll try and put a picture of it here. It was about the Kennedys. And I want to say the retail on that book was like 40 bucks too. Um, so yeah, 
a lot of really good books. We found a lot of good books. They also had one about the Pope, but we did not get Yes, they had one about the Pope. It was a big, heavy, thick book about it. Big, him. just like this one. Um, but we did not buy the one about the Pope. Not that we have anything against the Pope. We just didn't need a book about the Pope. Um, again, obviously, no particular order. Everything is random, as usual. Tracy grabbed a five-pack of Junior Dippers, Cheese Dip, and Breadsticks. So... That's what they look like. Grabbed another pack of the Sunny D Orange Strawberry. These are 6.75 ounces per bottle. And a, a pack of the Apple Juice. These are 4.23 ounces per box. Um... Found some Miracle Whip. This Miracle Whip is good until April 6th, 2021. And it is, how many ounces? Eight ounces. So, grabbed that. I like Miracle Whip from time to time. I used to only like Miracle Whip. Now, I, I don't care. But every once in a while, I like Mir I want some Miracle Whip. Um, so many other food in this bag. Let's see. Tracy found Campbell's chicken with rice. It's a 30% bigger can, so there's 13.8 ounces, but it's chicken with rice, not just the chicken and noodle, or the chicken noodle. Um, same size can and tomato. I think we got a few of each of those. All right. Um, some Crafter Square items. These were new, never seen these before. They're all cross stitch. Um, this one is a cross stitch kit. It comes with the one piece of the cross stitch fabric, one metal needle, one design sheet, and four threads. And it's Choose Joy with a big kind of rainbowed arch. This one is Free Hugs with a cactus. They also had one with the earth that said love and another one that said, do you remember what the other one said? Uh, peace, love, and... Peace was the other one. It was a peace sign with the word peace. And then this one, it's a monogram cross stitch. There's 14 patterns, M through Z. So it's not just the M. You can do any of those letters shown. And it's got the... Um, hoop. You know, you can see that there's an embroidery hoop in there. The patterns. Um, plastic design base. One plastic needle, one instruction sheet, and three threads. And then there's instructions on the back. So I thought those were pretty neat. Give those a shot. At least put them in the stash. Found some really cute stickers. I don't think we had these, but I couldn't pass these up for Mr. Wesley. Look at those cute little airplanes. They're bubble stickers. They're um, Yeah, because Grandma and his mom are going to be doing a scrapbook for him, and I thought these would be really cute in there. We also grabbed him some teethers. Um... He seems like he might be starting a little early. So uh, grabbed, grabbed one of these. We, had, we bought two of those, a red one and a blue one. Put it in the fridge last night. He didn't really care for it. Eventually he will. All right. Other things for Mr. Wesley. A, I think we've already, I think we've hauled this before, but I grabbed an extra one, the burp cloth that's kind of plasticky on the other side just for over your shoulder and then these were new they are washcloths it's a four pack so elephants and stripes and just a blue and a white and it's kind of like a terry cloth on the back side 
They're real thin, but they'll work. Yeah. Just to, you know, if he spits up, you can just use that to exactly. Walk them quick. So yeah, you can on. see it's not super thick, but gosh, I mean, why why not just? They're gonna be good to have on hand. All right, and then found some socks. Oh yeah. We found these socks in a different, I think those money ones were the same brand. No, no I don't know. No. Just that it looks similar maybe. These are Marvel Black Panther crew socks. Men's size six to 12. That was the only one I saw. Like, yeah. I didn't see any other Marvel. No stuff. other, um, and you can see it's actually Marvel right there. Um, yeah, no other characters or anything. It was just that white sock, Black Panther. These ones are diabetic comfort, so comfort socks. Non-binding, extra wide top, soft cushioned sole, smooth toe seams. So, got a pair of the tall socks. I think these are what? These are crew, right? Yeah, crew socks in gray. They had these in gray, white, and black. And then the quarter socks in white. Figure we'll give those a try. Yeah. Why not? All right. Um, we got a little bit of Christmas right here. There's one more of these somewhere. Um, we found the vintage style book boxes. So excited to find these. Here's the large one, and that's the side. And it's Santa. It says Santa's Christmas list. How cool is that, you guys? I just love that. And then the inside is green. What? The next size down says Santa's reindeer. And there's the front of that one. And the side. And the inside is red. And that fits inside of here. And then somewhere I have, here, two more, I think. Yeah, two more. Here's the smallest one. It says, tis the season to be jolly with a snowman. And that says joy. And the inside is green on this one. And then that fits inside the smallest one, or the, the middle one. And then the last one we found is Twas the Night Before Christmas. That one's cool. This one, like yeah, one. really cool. Tracy has always read, the inside of this one is blue, uh, blue on the outside, red on the inside. Um, Tracy's always read the kids the night before Christmas. And we're going to be reading it to Wesley. Well, Tracy's going to be reading it to Wesley this year. Um, so this is extra meaningful to our family along with the vintage Christmas I found some more cards we're not sending out Christmas cards this year it just didn't happen but these I can use for just like the last ones I can use them for crafting um look at that guy isn't that cute now if you want to see what it says there's what it says for something special you have in mind that Santa forgot to leave behind Merry Christmas. So there's the inside. It's a money holder. But I thought he was really cute. And then the other one is I love sharing Christmas with you. But look at that, you guys. How cute. And the front of the card is a cutout. So... I really liked those. I have a um, couple placemats that we bought at a bazaar a year or two ago. Yeah. And um, they're old Christmas cards cut out into circles, and then they are just collaged together to make a placemat, and then they're laminated. I love those. Um, so... Those didn't make it out this year, though. We have too much Christmas stuff, you guys. Just too much. So, um, couldn't put it all up this year. All right. What else do we have? 
found a journal. What is in here? Like... All right. Found a journal. This one is All You Need Is Love and Coffee. So this is by Jot 60 Sheets. The front is clear with the words. And then the cover is just the beans. It's ruled paper. So, and it's a five by seven notebook. These were new. Um, they're just, they're gonna go in my craft stash, but they'd be cute for a little girl's room or something. This one says, grateful. And see, that's an actual groove. It's not just painted. Um, and then the edges have stars also. So grateful. This one says thankful with the clouds. And you can guess this one says blessed with the hearts. I thought those were very cute. It's a uh, just hollow back, but those would be really cute in a little girl's room. Um, or they'll be cute for craft stash. You can pop off this little front and use that separately of the of the base. All right, what else do we have in here? Uh, we've seen these hauled, but we hadn't seen them ourselves. These are the Cobb LED portable work light. Um, side LED front cob. So that's what it looks like. So there's a light on the side and a, a counter the light right there on the front. That's it looks not, pretty neat. Yeah, it takes three AA batteries. I don't have batteries, but I'll show you what it looks like. So it's a little handle. There's a light right there, and then the light right there. Nothing else. It's just like a cool emergency light to keep in the house. Yeah. You know. So we thought that was pretty neat. It um, also had like a fake security camera yeah there was a, a fake security camera also we didn't need that. I think that'd be just like a gag gift or something for somebody or if you're wanting to make people think you have security and cam cameras I mean so they did have those but we got two of these guys we also found what everybody's been hauling the as seen on TV safe and healthy disinfecting UV light now we have a it's called a phone soap it's this box that opens up and you put your phone or your keys or your debit card inside and it's the same thing uv lights it runs for like 10 minutes or something and um disinfects so this essentially is the same thing you just manually do it um, and you can do it on more stuff, obviously. Yeah, knobs, yeah. I mean, on the box they show it going over your masks and toys and your doorknobs and stuff like that, packages. So um, I know a lot of people have said, "How do you know if it's actually worked?" Um, you can't. Obviously, you. It's a trust thing. I mean, there's science there is UV science light. behind UV light killing um, bacteria. bacteria, viruses, germs. So you take it out of the package and it looks like this. So here's all of your paperwork um, instructions. Did I get two? Looks like I might have gotten two sets of instructions. So, I mean, read through that. But there, there is science on it. It says on the side panel how it works. Um, so you can read there and here's what it looks like in the pack inside the package take that out and it's gonna take let's see four triple-a batteries is what this is gonna take they go in here in the end and it has this sticker on there that says for best results hold over object for from one to two inches away for 10 to 20 seconds. You will hear a beep every 10 seconds to let you know the surface has been sanitized. Warning, do not look directly into the light. Do not expose skin to light or exp 
use on use on your body so don't disinfect your hands and your face keep out of reach of children do not use on pets so open it up the light is right here and then you're just going to sanitize um you use it at your own discretion but like i said we do have something that um that uses uv light sanitization for our phones so um it's worth trying i don't see why not we only grabbed one of those because i wanted to show you guys it's going to be you know it's something that we can use for things that don't fit in our our sanitizer you I said it was an as seen on tv right it's an as seen on tv product yes so if you went to Fred Meyers to buy that, you're probably spending 10 to 15 bucks. Um, okay, totally different direction. There's new word searches and crossword puzzles. So these are a lot nicer than the last ones. The, mm -hmm. the cover is a textured um, and there's the strap to hold it closed. So there's one of them and there's the other. And these are by Crown Jewels. Um, we've been seeing a lot of... Oh, it's by Crown Jewels, but then on the bottom it says imported by Greenbrier. So maybe Crown Jewels is pr producing things on behalf of Greenbrier. Um, but yeah, so let me open one up so you can see the size. There's the size in case you're interested. And... Here are two of the crossword puzzles. We got tiger and just a fun little um, floral. I don't know if you can hear Wesley over there. He's kind of cooing. All right. I think I'm going to finish this bag and we'll call it. And then I'll do another video. So I'll probably look the same. But that way we can spread it out because I'm not going to go to the Dollar Tree for probably a week. And uh, we're gonna go up to the kids and spend it with, spend Christmas with them. And um, I'm not gonna be um, doing a video up there, so. All right, we got another pack of the Snack Pack Sugar-Free Jello or Gelatin. It's two strawberry and two orange. Tracy really likes those. The package says keto friendly. One gram of carbs per serving. So if you're curious about the carbs, there's only one gram of carbs. Um, got another one of those shower poofs with the thick elastic um, hanging strap. That's a really good one. So when it was just randomly there, so we grabbed it. Grabbed another one of the Arm & Hammer Essentials liquid hand soap in the orange mm -hmm. citrus. We really like this soap. Um, thought we'd grab an extra one. We also grabbed a couple of these brain teaser real wood 3D puzzle. So we grabbed those. Yes, they'd be fun um, as a puzzle. But that's not why we got it. But that's not why we got it. So is it like a Rubik's Cube or something? Is that the idea? You're supposed to get all the same color on one side? Or I don't... What? I think you're just or supposed you take to... take it apart and then you're supposed to put it together. So it's all just... They're all on a string. We got it because we can cut these beads off of the string and you use them as beads. Um, no, it's a... It's now try and build that cube again. That's what the puzzle oh, okay. is. Yeah. So you have to somehow build that cube again. <laughs> but um, we got it to use as beads. So. Um, and they're nice too. I mean, they're decent yeah. quality. You could paint them or you could even just leave them that color if you wanted. So there's the reddish brown and then the, the whitish brown. So we grabbed two of those. They came back with the fortune cookie, um, lucky fortune, wear your luck, but they are two packs this time, two packs and they're double dipped. So like there's 
blue and purple. So is there like a best friend type thing, right? Like they go together, I think. Per, maybe. I believe is what I, I've heard other people. BFF say. series, yes. BFF <clears throat> series. So one for you and one for your bestie. Um, ages six and up. It's like the one they showed on the box. It was like a hamburger and French fries. Yeah, it, it says like find that. your ultra lucky pair. Lucky me, lucky you. Fifty pairs of BFF bracelets to collect. So, um, we grabbed three, two packs. Sorry, I'll show you the Christmas, then the crafting, and then we'll be done. Okay, we found these, they're treat sacks, but we think that they'd be really good. Just gift bags. Um, they're canvas. They're, okay. they're burlap. Burlap. Okay. They're so cute. It's a three pack. This one says Merry Christmas, and it's got Merry the red bright. drawstring. Merry Christmas. Huh? Merry and bright. Read, Melinda. Merry and bright. That's what you got me for. And then there's the actual bag in there. Um, this is. There's six by four. I'll take one out so you can see it. So here's the bag, and it's just got a little drawstring so yeah you can put treats in there you could put money in there you could put gift cards in there you could just put little presents in there you know like chapsticks or bath bombs or whatever um but yeah those were really cute everything is wrapped already i think just about everything um so i don't know that i'll be using these this year but you know me and my stashes so there's the Marion Bright. There's this one with the red snowflake. And then this one with the Christmas tree. And the drawstring is green on this one. They're so cute. They're super cute. Love them. All right. Um, I think I've hauled these before. Hot cocoa packets. They're by Nestle. And it's rich milk chocolate hot cocoa. So one envelope, 0.7 ounces. Um, they probably still have some if you're in need of uh, some stuffers, some little gift extras. Somebody, I don't know who, had suggested this. And I think they got it from someone else's video. But this bike bag. So Dollar Tree sells these giant gift bags. This one's big enough for a... 27 inch bike. I recommended this for the wrapping paper cleanup. Like, it's cute. And it's going to get thrown away. That way you don't have to waste one of your good garbage bags, right? Um, for those of us that don't have the 40 gallon garbage bags, we don't have to waste multiple kitchen bags. I don't know. Yeah, you don't need to go spend a buck on it. But I liked the idea. I thought I'd share it. Um, and in case you have a bike to give somebody, this one says, best Seamus ever. Every day I'm jingling. Um, make it merry, sleigh vibes. So that's more for like a adolescent. <laughs> no peeking. So anyways, that's that. We got this little, uh, goodie tin. I have yet to make any goodies. Uh, I'm going to be making TV mix this week at the very least. It's like, like a Chex mix kind of, but it's Tracy's family recipe and it's called Bless TV you. mix. Bless you. Bless you, Wesley. Um, but anyways, this treat box was just really cute. The Buffalo check ornaments, Buffalo check top with the see-through. So if you make cookies or candies or something, it's a really cute display also. These gift boxes were awesome because they're a small, weird shape. I mean, it's not weird, but it's an unusual shape to find. They're 8.2 by 6.9 by 3, and it's a four pack. So let me... 
open this up and show you what we've got. All right, so we've got Warm Winter Wishes that looks like it's on the wood planks. We've got Happy Holidays with the poinsettia. poinsettia. Oh, and then the, so the sides of the um, wood one look like that. The sides of the poinsettia look like that. There's Tis the Season on the wood, and the back is the same as the other one. And the fourth one is Let It Snow. Looks like wood going horizontally, and there's the sides. So they're a nice deeper box. That I like yeah. a lot. Um, I you random put a hat or something in there. Yeah, you could. Um, because a lot of the boxes that they have are shallow. They're pretty shallow. Um, like here's one. It's like shirt box. Yeah, they're like shirt boxes. So that's one that I've hauled before and used. Um, but this one's nice and deep. There's a box here that um, I think this is it. Like, I like deep boxes like this. This was a gift box, not from Dollar Tree. I found it in my wrapping stuff. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I like those deeper ones. You can fit bigger stuff in it. All right, that's all I have for Christmas. Now I've got some crafting things, and then we're going to call it, you guys. What are we at? 32 minutes already? Oh, my gosh. All right. These were new. I've seen a lot of stores on different haul videos that are people are finding the spring stuff and Valentine's Day and Easter. Easter. Oh my gosh. Fortunately, we didn't see any of that. I was okay with that. Um, but I think they must have get, been starting to get spring stuff because these are for like mason jar vases. Um, you put those on their lids for small mason jars. It's a two piece. So there was that one. They're called decorative lids. There's this one that's just like chicken wire kind of. Helps you do like an arrangement. And we found these. So these turn your mason jar into a hanger. You can see in the picture. Aren't those neat? I hadn't seen those before. So thought we'd grab some. Just to have, okay, these are my favorite. Like, holy cow, I can't believe they have these there. Crafter Square has uh, stepped up the game. These are laser cut craft words. And these are three pieces. Look at this. Love, I've got a hair. They look like they're wood. I'm going to open one. It's, no, it's card, it's cardboard. I think it's a thick cardboard, but guys, they're so cool. So love with like a heart key. Looks like a skeleton key made out of a heart. That was cute. And then there's three more. There's memory. So if you're a scrapbooker, these are going to be awesome. This one says hugs. And then this one, family. How cool are these, you guys? Those are pretty darn I was so excited about these, wasn't I, babe? I was like, oh. Yeah. <gasps> I thought you found the wood planks as excited as you Oh, know. yeah. I, we have never found those wood planks. So Tracy was like, did you find the wood planks? I'm like, no, but these are freaking awesome. So, yeah. All right. That's what we've got for you in this haul. Come here, Mr. Talker. Wesley's going to come and say goodbye. Like I said, I've got more stuff, but we'll do that in a separate video. So I'll probably look the same. Um, but yeah, if you are new to our channel and you have not yet subscribed, we would love to have you. 
There's Tracy. Hi. Are you watching me? You're just watching Nana. So if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you. You can click the subscribe button. Yeah, see up there, the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Which we, how could you not with him? You gotta love this guy, right? Hi. Hello. <laughs> You guys, he was talking earlier. Like, Grandma, what are you doing? He was here? making his cooing sounds. Um, all right. So give this video a thumbs up. That'd help us out. That would be great. You can uh, subscribe to our channel. And I think that's everything. You guys, have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Anything you celebrate, can, enjoy. We hope you enjoy. Um, yes, we do. Thank you so much for watching. Wesley's waving goodbye. We love you guys, and we will talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>